Welcome to our channel, where we explore the latest innovations in clean energy and sustainable transportation. Today, we have exciting news from CATL, the Chinese battery manufacturer that is leading the charge in battery technology. CATL has just unveiled its second-generation sodium-ion battery, a breakthrough that could change everything for the electric vehicle industry and beyond. As demand for EVs and renewable energy grows, battery technology plays a critical role in making this transition possible. Lithium-ion batteries, which power most EVs today, have limitations in terms of capacity, cost, and safety. That's where sodium-ion batteries come in. Sodium-ion batteries use sodium as the main chemical ingredient instead of lithium, which makes them cheaper and more abundant. They also have the potential to offer higher energy density, faster charging, and better safety. CATL has been developing sodium-ion battery technology for years, and now they are ready to take it to the next level. The new CATL Sodium-Ion Battery 2.0 is a game-changer. It offers even higher energy density and longer cycle life than the first-generation battery, and it can be integrated with lithium-ion cells in the AB Battery Pack solution. This opens up new possibilities for electric vehicles, stationary storage, and other applications. With the new CATL Sodium Ion Battery 2.0, we are one step closer to a sustainable future powered by clean energy. Join us as we explore this exciting technology and its potential impact on the world. CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, announced a sodium ion battery. Lithium is completely unnecessary, and its price has exploded in recent months due to high demand. Additionally, the new salt battery is completely cobalt-free and 100% recyclable. And by 2023, these next-generation batteries will be in mass production outside of China. To this end, the company invested his 1.8 billion US dollars in the construction of the largest battery factory in Central Europe. Germany supplies all German car manufacturers. Manufacturers such as Tesla, Mercedes, and BMW have partnered with Location to build a $7.4 billion battery factory in Hungary to ensure that the battery supply from Mercedes has an annual battery output of 100 gigawatt hours. In fact, we already have a long-term contract with CATL. These batteries are also interesting for renewable energy storage. It's because of the amazingly low price. So, what is this next-generation sodium-ion battery? All of, what are the advantages over lithium-ion batteries? And how is it possible that salt could revolutionize the industry? Explore how the next generation of sodium-ion batteries will transform the entire market. Lithium-ion batteries, which are found in nearly every new electric vehicle that leaves the factory, have one major drawback. Currently, there are only four countries in the world that can record my lithium on the load scale. Argentina, Chile, Australia, and China. But China imports most of the lithium it uses in battery production to protect future supplies and stockpiles. Massive man-made scarcity. But looking at forecasts for battery production over the next few years, we are just getting started. And one big problem is already clear. The world will eventually run out of lithium. Isolated solutions from companies such as BMW, Volkswagen, and Tesla already have closed battery recycling circuits for internal cells. On average, each battery contains about 22 pounds of lithium. In the famous PV magazine, he published a study that by 2040 there will be 3 billion electric cars on the road. Many of them are powered by lithium-ion batteries, and by 2040, all known lithium sources will soon be exhausted. 26 million tons. Elon Musk also complained on Twitter. The price of lithium has risen to insane levels. Tesla may have to go straight to mining and refining unless costs improve. Since lithium is almost ubiquitous on Earth, there is no shortage of the element itself. However, the pace of extraction and purification is slow. Limiting factor for lithium batteries depends on raw material extraction. Lithium is a very energy-intensive, polluting, and time-consuming process. However, 
Demand for lithium is growing rapidly, and new production is not keeping up. New battery technologies are therefore needed to accommodate electrification, make it scalable, and above all, reasonable. Global lithium production was roughly flat from 2018 to 2021, while battery production nearly doubled from 2020 to 2021. This is where next-generation sodium-ion batteries come into play. The principle of operation of sodium-ion batteries is almost the same as that of lithium-ion batteries. CATL claims that a single battery has three main advantages. Number one, it is more cold tolerant than the lithium ion batteries found in current Tesla models. Anyone who drives a Tesla in the winter or in cold regions knows how this can negatively affect the range of energy consumption. And finally, battery life. Number two, sodium ion batteries are said to be very safe. Also, its manufacturing process is the same as that of lithium ion batteries. As a result, known advances in battery manufacturing can be employed. No need to reinvent the production process. Number three. And most importantly, since sodium is basically a salt, it is a much more abundant substance than lithium. Nearly 3% of the Earth's crust is composed of sodium. Why is sodium not used in battery cells? Does it have more advantages than lithium? The main drawback of sodium batteries compared to lithium is their energy density. Sodium is three times heavier than lithium. Also, sodium ions are physically larger than lithium ions and cannot move freely between graphite layers. A node. In this case, higher demands are placed on the material of the separator. But there's a reason the world's largest battery maker takes the lead. His CATL headquarters in China has his team of 5,000 with just one ultimate mission. Find new ways of efficient battery. CATL has successfully produced next-generation sodium-ion batteries with energy densities comparable to those of lithium-ion batteries. What seemed like theory a year ago is now becoming reality. CATL claims it can charge a 100-kilowatt battery from 0 to 80% in 15 minutes. Battery cells retain 90% of their capacity, even in extreme temperatures of minus 20 degrees Celsius. It also survived 6,000 charging cycles. Lithium-ion batteries, on the other hand, only last about 3,000 cycles. However, sodium-ion batteries, which have relatively low production costs, are of particular interest to CATL. The industry agrees with lithium-ion batteries due to the high price of lithium-ion batteries. Large capacity. NCA batteries have an energy density of about 250. How many hours per kilogram? LFT, about 200 watt hours per kilogram. And the new sodium ion battery is 160 watt hours per kilogram. A 36% lower energy density doesn't look promising at first glance, but a new patent from CATL indicates that CATL is already working on a new version of this sodium cell rated at 200 watt hours per kilogram. Sodium ion batteries CATL are already 8% cheaper to manufacture. Analysts talk about a kilowatt hour price of $80. It should drop to $20, $25, or $30 per kilowatt hour. Global average battery cost in 2021 will be $137 per ka, representing a 78% price ROV. In addition, CATL reports that production of lithium-ion cells can be switched over to sodium-ion cells with very little effort due to functionality. The functions and structures of cells are almost identical. However, we will see if CATL can deliver on its promises when mass production begins in 2023. The industry is looking for alternatives. Another company reported a breakthrough in aluminum-based graphene batteries. They claim that aluminum ion batteries can be charged 70 times faster than traditional lithium batteries and have three times the capacity. Sustainable future powered by clean energy. We hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something new about the exciting advancements in battery technology. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest innovations in clean energy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.